to Tariq Abouazoum on the ground in Rafa in southern Gaza. Tariq, another night, another day of strikes, no let up. Talk us through the targets that have been hit. Well, um, overnight, the Israeli military, in fact, has carried out wide military attacks uh, from and land as well in many areas in the territory. But one of the bloodiest was carried out in Rafah district here in the southern part of the Gaza Strip, where at least eight Palestinians have been reported killed, including five children. The attack has been carried out against a farmland that, uh, that uh, was a refuge for a Palestinian family that was completely targeted without any prior warning. And clearly, as you can hear right now, that there is a clear active military movement for the Israeli surveillance of drones since the early hours of today's morning as a part of their ongoing security uh, and intelligence gathering information on the ground. But clearly, we have been recording more airstrikes across many areas uh, as well in the Gaza Strip, including al Mughraqa and Deir el-Balah area, which these uh, two towns have been witnessing mass demolishing process by the Israeli military in terms of residential houses that completely become destroyed in that area as the military right now is operating to expand that corridor. And it's worth mentioning as well that the Israeli military has with the drone from the Anusirat a refugee camp uh, after a military operation that lasts for several days in the middle areas of the territory. And Tarek, it seems that there have been some new developments around movements of Israeli troops on the ground too. Well, that's right. The Israeli military, in fact, has withdrawn, has withdrawn from a Nusrat refugee camp, uh, leaving behind mass destruction in civil infrastructure along with residential buildings. Now, civil defence crews are working right now in the northern part of Nusrat to recover the victims and the injuries from these locations. They have been finding out a number of uh, uh, Palestinian dead bodies. They have been recovered and later being prepared to therefore burial. But yet, the situation on the ground sounds really critical. Ahmed more Israeli media reports emerging are from Israeli territory saying that the Israeli, uh, the, uh, the United States have been saying that they are ready to uh, support a military incursion for Rafah district if the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu just uh, tried to to carry out a controlled retaliation to the Iranian attack on uh, Israeli territories in the past few days. But clearly also these reports have been stressing on the fact that it was a clear political maneuver being made by the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in order to win a permission from the American administration to start a military incursion in Rafah, as reports have been saying that the Israeli military has been deploying uh, more uh, artillery tanks and armored vehicles in areas that are adjacent to the borders with Rafah in preparation for a potential military attack on that very densely populated area. Tarek Abouazoum in Rafah and southern Gaza for us with all the latest there. Thank you, Tarek. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Algeria.